Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And coming in today, beautiful souls, when these messages came out, I was a little bit, oh, but you know, I tell it how it is, beautiful souls. If they're great, they're great. And if they're not, they're a little bit down. I've, I still record them anyway, beautiful souls, because, you know, I'm reading for a number of people out there, the collective energy. And so it's whatever comes through. And so at this time, beautiful souls, maybe this is a specific message just for one of you. Maybe it's for half a dozen of you. Maybe it's for a certain group of you at this time. Maybe you've been on a high and suddenly you've hit this low point, beautiful souls. This one today is number 11, detach. And the first thing I noticed, beautiful souls, obviously master number 11. We've just crossed over the 11th of the first right the 111 portal new moon manifestations all of those things the other thing beautiful souls well obviously she's not sad but it's just like it's like remembering past things it's like you know she's been thinking about or contemplating everything that's happened whether this is around a relationship person in specifically family friends at work situation Whatever it is, it's winter time. So this is definitely a message for one or some of you in the Northern Hemisphere because you are smack bang in the middle of your winter right now. You've, well, yes, smack bang in the middle. Releasing the dove, detaching and letting go. Now this could be people, places and things. Remember, as I always say, beautiful souls, we are always, we are all in different cycles. And just because this is a, a number eight year, the year of abundance, many of us are still wrapping up old cycles, right? And maybe this is the month, maybe in the next 11 days, maybe from the 11th of this month, things are going to be, you know, releasing from your life. This could be a situation because it's winter time, there's no you know leaves on the trees it looks quite cold outside she's not really happy she's not crying or anything they're just saying reflecting she's reflecting she or he on whatever has gone on whatever situation it is right now beautiful souls but just know that all the seasons eventually change we don't stay in the one season forever and the clarifier again beautiful souls Number nine, rest and reconsider. Some of you are dead set tired. You are so fatigued, so worn out, so battle weary, so withdrawn, just I'm over it. Like, oh my gosh, is this going to be another year of hard work? And nine's beautiful souls, as we know, in the conventional tarot deck which I don't read I don't do them but the nines are endings you're nearly they're just saying he's nearly to the top of the mountain look how far he's come look look at the height right there's rivers and streams and all kinds of things he has climbed and obviously she or he ladies but he has climbed this figure has climbed a long way and it's they're just saying it's been a hard grind like there's no stairs, there's no rails to hang on to, there's no nothing. And he's just le leaning up against this rock wall, literally with his backpack. And again, not crying or anything, but again, it's very heavily like in reflection mode. So beautiful souls, maybe at this time, whatever is going on around you right now, maybe you just need to ta detach from it a little bit and just have a rest. Maybe there's another way right resting and reconsidering but let's get into these messages number 11 hit me up in the comments beautiful souls when these ones come out especially more than any of the others because they are challenging cards and even the colors they're just saying right the browns and the blacks you know is not that color and vitality that we were having only a couple of days ago reflecting well there you go i was saying that before accepting decide clarity responsibility and fairness 
Sometimes our ego prevents us from seeing events clearly. It's time to detach emotionally from a relationship or a situation so that you can step back and re-evaluate. Oh my goodness me. Resting and reconsidering beautiful souls. Re-evaluating as well. As I said, they're not crying. It's more like reflection. So taking a step back, having a breather. Reflecting upon how the relationship or situation is working out. Is it satisfying? What role do you play in its harmony or disharmony? And again, beautiful souls, I know we don't like to hear it, but sometimes what have we contributed to that situation if it is a situation you're dealing with right now? You know, um, and not in all cases, but again, usually where two or more people are involved, there's usually usually been something on both sides usually but not in every case an honest appraisal is required right now in order to gain clarity and help you to better understand what might need to be done to improve it so again beautiful souls resting reconsidering reevaluating. This is true even if the situation or relationship is already a good one. It's important to accept that your previous actions, decisions and beliefs have led you to your current situation, whether it's pleasant or difficult. Cannot make this up, beautiful souls. Maybe some of you, they're just saying to me right now, feel as though you've been climbing mountain after mountain after mountain beautiful souls it is coming to an end as i said that's a nine card right things are going to be shifting um we do steer the course of our lives although often without conscious intent and that is so true we are the master creators of our own life beautiful souls yes we come in with blueprints yes there's curses and vows and all of those contracts and past life soul ties and all of that is well sprinkled in the mix beautiful souls but we are usually to some degree in control of every single situation the way we respond react interact don't react step away move away whatever we do beautiful souls even these little subtle things usually end up creating what is the final outcome for these situations positive or negative by assessing your situation right now and accepting responsibility for it you're able to free yourself from the need to blame another person or destiny there's no guilt associated with this card, only clarity and empowerment. They just said, when you know better, you do better. True story. And guess what, beautiful souls, as I've said before, and we all know from experience, usually we learn through pain, loss, sadness, grief, sorrow, challenges, hard times. That is where the growth happens. It's usually not pleasant. Once you've detached yourself from an, or an examined a relationship or situation or matters of the heart, you're in a better position to decide what your step next step might be. Oh my goodness. Remember that the detached card knows no ego. Decisions arrived at, at, at as a result of drawing this card must be fair and balanced for everyone involved. You all know, beautiful souls, a fair and just outcome for all, for the highest good of all in divine perfect timing, right? And again, so this could be some of these situations, beautiful souls, that have been going on for quite some time, right? Winter time. It's been a long cycle for some of you going through these situations, whatever they are, beautiful souls. You know, these court cases and things, they keep coming up. You know, I've got that this year to look forward to, beautiful souls. And I say that sarcastically. And as I've said before, it's not with me directly, but because I'm attached to the ex, unfortunately, and I have a daughter to him, obviously through marriage, 
or ex-marriage. I am really hoping that this cycle, because let me tell you, it has been like this literally for the last, I'm going to say, nine to ten years, right? Climbing mountains, dealing with all of this stuff in the side, like in the background. And beautiful souls, you know, so I know that for some of you, you have been under some pretty heavy, intense, challenging times and not just for a few weeks, a few months. Some of you, this has been years, right? So rest and reconsider, beautiful souls. Let's see what comes up in this one. Fatigue. Oh my goodness. Tired. People, I know many of you out there, beautiful souls, under these burdens and then there's also this collective energy right so it's not just us with our stuff going on it's the stuff around us our family and friends right that we probably take on board a little bit as well right work situations and then it filters out into the energetic field beautiful souls of the collective energy and what's going on in the world right now some really crazy wild stuff and again, all of that energy, beautiful souls in the mix can also bring you down in frequency and vibration. Let yourself rest when your body is saying, I need a break, do it. Perseverance, strength and recharging. So it doesn't say give up, beautiful souls. It's simply saying rest and reconsider. Sometimes the struggle to create and maintain harmonious and fulfilling situations and relationships just seems like too much work. Ever thrown your hands up in the air like you just don't care and gone, you know what, I'm just so over this. Seriously, I've just had enough. That's what I feel some of you, and I'm getting goosebumps as I just said that, that's how some of you are feeling right now. Maybe with some of these situations that have been going on and on and on, lingering in the background, or a situation or an area of your life, beautiful souls, where you've really been struggling to kind of get a footing, they're saying, right? To make some progress. Detach and let go just for the moment, beautiful souls. You know, press pause, they just said. You put forth your best effort and give more than your fair share and find that there are still issues to be dealt with. And they're just showing me a list, right? Ticking off the list. And as you're crossing one off the list, two more appear. So it's like you're just spinning your wheels in this to-do mode constantly. It's just also distracting you from certain things as well. You're tired and at times you just want to give up. Did I not just say that? Right? Don't give up, beautiful souls. And I've even been putting that on my community page on those posts. Do not give up. Do not quit. Not now. Rest if you have to, pause if you have to, detach if you have to, but do not give up. You give up now, it is game over. It is, you you know, you have lost by automatic default. The message of this card is to persevere. Oh my goodness. You may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. Know that those past sorrows have made you stronger even though you don't feel like that in this moment. So true, beautiful souls. Remember, God doesn't waste anything that we've been through. Nothing. They will all serve a purpose at the direct divine time. Whatever your soul purpose is here on earth, beautiful souls, all of the stuff, beautiful souls, will be used for you to help other people get through their tough and challenging times, their loss, their sorrows, whatever it is, right? This is a good time to briefly step away from any conflict or issues around any situation. Give yourself some space to relax and replenish your energy. When you're depleted, beautiful souls, and you still try and keep grinding, they're just saying, it's just going to amplify that energy, right? That new vitality card that came out a couple of days ago, beautiful souls. We want to recharge you back to that, right? This heavy darkness, this brown energy, black energy, right? Winter energy. 
We want to get that out. We want to clear that out of your system. Um, you need to rest and reconsider your methods. Once you've recharged yourself, you'll be stronger, clear-headed, confident, ready to move forward. Once again, with new ideas about how to improve your situation. And I've said this to private clients too before in the past, beautiful souls. And, you know, I've had to check in with myself at times as well. Sometimes we can be so enmeshed and so in whatever it is that we're working on, beautiful souls. And if there's any kind of deviation, no matter how tired and fatigued, no matter how many issues we're having, right, the tech issues and all of that created major frustration for me. But I, again, I had to just realize if it's not the right time, it's not the right time. Just let it go. Let it go. It doesn't matter. The right message will come out on the right day for the right people. When you see these messages, it will always be at the right time. Beautiful souls, everything they're just saying in divine perfect timing. And again, they're not saying give up. They're just saying, listen, release and let go, detach rest and reconsider reevaluate whatever you need to do beautiful souls but do not give up beautiful souls sending you biggest biggest hugs if this is you right now and i know for some of you as i said you're completing cycles i feel like i'm in that 9 10 energy with certain parts certain aspects certain situations that are as i've said before have been just spinning around in the background for years right but again beautiful souls you are nearly there you are literally on the threshold of crossing over do not quit now Hit me up in the comments, beautiful souls. If that has resonated, hit the little thumbs up button below. First time viewers, as I always say, if that has resonated with you and you feel divinely led, hit the little notifications bell, subscribe to my channel. First time viewers and um, subscribers as well, I welcome every single one of you to my channel. Any other links to get a hold of me, my booking links, book links, Instagram links, social media, whatever it is that you need, beautiful souls, it will all be in the description box below and or my booking link pinned on the pinned comment in this video. Beautiful souls, go have a beautiful day. Just attach. It's okay. It will all be okay. Everything is working itself out in divine perfect timing. All is well. Sending you all so much love. I'll see you in here for the next one. Bye for now.